Hey guys, I'm Amber Rowe from AmberRRowe.com and I'm also a beauty industry expert, trainer, and advocate. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the Beauty Professionals Playbook. This is a book that I put out a few years ago and it's very successful. It's successful in the beauty schools. It's successful amongst beauty professionals that have just graduated and those who have actually been in the industry like myself for a while. It helps revive and rejuvenate the reason why you're actually in the industry. So I just wanted to share a few little tips about the book and I'm really wanting to talk to you guys about it because although a lot of the content from the book is in the videos that I'm sharing with you today, it is a fantastic gift to give to someone who is thinking about going into the industry or just a breath of fresh air for those of you who are struggling or maybe not even using your beauty industry license. Come on guys, we need you. We need you so much in the beauty industry. So I am here to share a few tips from my book and to help inspire and encourage you guys to go forth, be better, and help build this beauty industry one rock star at a time. Without further ado, here's a few of those tips. So when I first wrote the beauty industry, beauty professionals playbook, I wanted to do it for the beauty industry and I wanted to do it for those who were coming into it, for those who were thinking about it, and for those who were already in it because what I learned over the years is that there's just, there's so many misconceptions about the beauty industry and although everybody is normally doing it because they want to make a quick dollar, there's a lot of people who actually have made a career out of being in the beauty industry and they've gone so far. And I wanted to highlight all the different things that a person would go through um, when pursuing the beauty industry. So whether it's, you know, talking about uh, you know, what your why is, why you're actually going into the beauty industry. Um, do you want to get paid for your passion? If you want to do that, what kind of school should I be considering? Um, in my book, I talk a lot about how, you know, I went to three different schools. Um, one school ripped me off, the second school closed down, and the third school was the school of a lifetime. I loved it. It was a fantastic experience. But a lot of things that I have gone through and what I'm sure a lot of you guys as the beauty professionals has, have gone through is you guys have been through a lot of things. And so I felt like we weren't really sharing about it to help those who are coming up in the beauty industry after us. And so what I decided to do was write about it. So one of the other things that I talk about in my book is how to navigate the workplace. So. Um, there's instances whenever, you know, you have to handle high volume uh, clients coming in. Sometimes it'll be slow, but your integrity as a beauty industry professional is very important um, in your workplace or if you're working for yourself. Um, if you're constantly lazy, constantly complaining, constantly, you know, not really being in a good energy person, that's going to come through. And a lot of people either won't decide, decide to hire you back you'll get fired or your coworkers and just people who even want to work for you. They won't really want to be around you. And so it's really important that when we're navigating the workplace, whether it's our own or someone else's, that we consider our attitude and how we present ourselves in those situations. That's very important. Um, one of the things that I always talk about is, well, one of the things I talk about in my book specifically is um, your relationships with uh, those who are in the industry with you. So, like, there's a story that I remember talking about how, um, you know, a few of my coworkers were actually making jokes about one of the clients. Um, they were so bashful and insecure about you know, their pedicure and, you know, they were making jokes and I wasn't making jokes, but I wasn't necessarily standing up for the client either. And so um, one of my other coworkers came over to me and said, you know, I was really thinking about getting services done here because I have some insecurities of my own. But after hearing you guys and what you were talking about, it made me feel like I wasn't welcome. It made me feel like I couldn't get services here and I don't think I can trust you guys. And you know what, when she said that, it just broke my heart because that's not me. I am 110% customer service. I am make you feel comfortable. I am go above and beyond. So when I heard that, it hit me close. Like, sometimes you guys, you have to like stand up 
for yourself. You have to stand up for your clients and you have to stand up for your coworkers. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of all the things that I talk about in this book because it'll, it's things that you guys have either experienced yourself or it's things that you guys um, will encounter in the beauty industry. I talk about um, racism in the beauty industry. Um, I talk about, um, you know, working with clients who, you know, they, they're they just absolutely tough, you know? And no matter what, you have to stick to your guns and you have to have the tips and the tools to navigate through those situations so that you always come out on top. Well, it was so nice to talk with you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys all know how appreciative I am that you even took the few moments to watch this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I really, really love for um, those comments that I get from people about, you know, the stories that they've had at work and how they've been able to overcome certain things because of what I've come out about and what I've shared. And um, it's not just happening in our state is happening in our country is happening around the world and if our community gets a little bit tighter and a little bit more transparent about what's going on I think we're really going to make it you guys we're going to be able to dominate and um, really succeed in this industry and go above and beyond what everyone is actually thinking of us so thank you so much for tuning in you know what to do check the link below you can find all my uh, social media handles and then also please comment, like, and subscribe to this video. You know somebody right now who could hear exactly what I just talked about and now you can share it with them. Have a great day. Bye.